That is the sound of pure joy. Look at that fire. Absolute fire in the shaker. But anyway, what's going on you guys? My name is King Shep and uh, welcome back to the channel. So today we're on some Modern Warfare. As you guys know, Season 4 is already underway. This video, I'm just going to get the battle pass, talk about a couple things. It's going to be great. So obviously, everything's different here as we get with the new season. I love this like walking scene. It's so much better than the last one where you were just on the dam, was it? What was last season? Was that on the dam? I don't know. Uh, we'll need more COD points because I'm literally 10 short. You guys know the deal. Black out the screen here so you guys can't see all my card information. And uh, yeah, I'll be back when I uh, when I actually buy it. And then we're going to go down here. Oh, it's a thousand. I thought it was a 950 like every other single battle royale, but whatever. Yeet. We're going to buy it. Bam. We got the season four battle pass. Let's freaking go. My PS4 is already gen engine. So we obviously get Captain Price. We got Cascade. I don't know who that is. It's a Rodion skin. Vehicle. Which I actually didn't uh, know this is a thing, but let's listen to it. I didn't hear that at all. You get a knife cam, not camo, but knife variant, cool. Get this. I actually already previewed a lot of this stuff already. Um, but yeah. So it's not my first reaction, but this is kind of dirty. It looks so much better in the actual preview. I don't know why it does. I uh, got a got a thick ass bearded man. Look at that beard. Holy shit. Uh, we get the Vector, aka the Fennec. Uh, we already knew that was coming, obviously, because of all the leaks. Calling card. LMG, which this actually, this is a really cool LMG skin. I really do like this one, which I'll be using it for when I go for Obsidian on it. Uh, so that's gonna be fun. I actually didn't. I actually saved. Looking at this, uh, looking at this thing. Can I preview it? Yes, I can. Oh, I thought it was gonna like, like from here. It looked like it was gonna be like some Charlie Brown type bullshit. Another. Wait, what is that for? Oh, it'll be okay. Gross. That shotgun sucks. And then we got the CR56A Max. This is apparently supposed to be the Galil. I don't see it. It does not look like the Galil from Black Ops 1 at all to me. Uh, but I, I would have to actually like use it to know. Because the Galil was probably my most used weapon in Black Ops 1. And my PS4 is taking off. We are we have takeoff, ladies and gentlemen. Um, got this mini-map watch, which that's pretty dope. Uh, I see that being pretty OP and uh, hardcore. Unless if it's not like real-time, real-time. We'll figure it out in, uh, in the later stages of this game. But yeah. That's that. We get a Car 98 skin, a uh, pistol skin that looks so much cooler in this than it does in this actual preview thing. We got an Eagle truck. I think that's pretty cool. Very American. I will be rocking that. This uh, variant for the Uzi, which is actually a really dope looking variant. Very clean looking. Definitely be using that as well. Wait, does it have a sniper scope on it? Why? Why does it have a sniper scope on it, bro? <laughs> uh, let's see what else do we got here just quickly looking through we got another card 98 skin you got a female operator dope oh I actually like that skin that's actually a pretty dope looking skin she looks like she's working at the beach another watch p90 skin doesn't matter what you put on the p90 because you won't be able to see it anyway because the reloading animation suck in this game and there's no weapon uh, another operator skin another sniper scope LMG why do we put that on there we got the fire on the helicopter. We got, I believe that was the EBR. Uh, we got a skin for the Fennec, which is actually a really, really dope looking skin. It's so clean. Um, then we got O12 skin, a skin for Iskra. Pretty dope looking skin. I like the purple uh, scarf around her neck. Matches with Damascus. That's a pretty dope looking watch. There's literally no use, but watches don't have a use anyway in this game. So we got, what is his name? Nikto. That's his name. We got a Nikto charm. Pretty dope, but it doesn't beat my German Shepherd charm. We got a weapon blueprint for the Galil, aka the whatever they call it in this game. Another really clean black and gold get along really cool or really well. We got this. Can't spectate it because they just literally cropped it out of. Uh, whoops oh, oh fuck 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 because they just uh, cropped it out of the uh, picture and it's like yeah th that's your uh, inspect all those probably really shiny in the game so you probably don't want to use that anyway and of course we got the season four max 
tier emblem, and then we got Captain Price, the man, the myth, the legend himself. Um, what did I get new in here? Oh, I'm scared. Oh yeah, we got Price, obviously. What a, what a, what a chap. Saying Frosty, that one he just bop right in the back of the head, and then smokes a cigar and throws it on him. Dope. Then we got, uh, what was it? Cascade, right? Yeah, we got the Cascade skin for Radion. Looks like he's like a Russian soldier. Uh, no matter how many people use a skin in this game, we all know damn well nobody's going to be Russian. Uh, we obviously got a new set of challenges, which uh, I'm literally going to fry my brain trying to do these as well. So one of the more prominent things that everybody's been talking about is these insane um, challenges for these weapons. So obviously before you can um, do these challenges, you have to have gold on the weapon much like obsidian because there is an obsidian calling card which is literally going to be the dumbest thing to get on every single weapon so first we're going to start with assault rifles i'm just going to run through it on the first of each weapon because i doubt it's different on any of this weapons so first one we got the gold calling card 500 kills 2000 kills for damascus i think that's pretty similar for every single weapon class besides obviously the launchers the knives and melees and stuff um headshots very similar for every weapon here Platinum, you have to get 250 headshots. Obsidian, you have to get 750. And just keep in mind, these do not translate. So once you get these 250, you don't have to get an additional 500. You have to get the additional 750. So in total here, you're getting 1,000 headshots, 2,500 kills. Just thought I'd clear that up real quick before there's anybody asking in the comments. 75 aiming down sight kills with no stock attachment option selected. Not going to be too difficult. That'll be done. I can literally get all these ARs done with that challenge in a day. Easy. Then we get 50 kills while sliding. Not extremely hard. Uh, 75 kills while crouching. Same deal. Not extremely hard. And then 4 attachments get 25 point blank headshot kills. Not extremely hard, but I'm probably going to wait till shipment to do that. Unless if I can get behind somebody luckily and then just pop them in the back of the head. So now we're going to move over to the SMGs. Go to the AUG. Another 2,500 kills for both getting the gold and the Damascus uh, calling card. Actually, I wonder, do you have to have Damascus on the weapon to be able to do this? I'm actually not sure about that because these challenges came after I got Damascus, but that might be how it works. I have no idea. Then we got 50 kills while I'm mean, down sights using a laser attachment, not too hard. Again, get that done in one day on all of the SMGs. 50 kills while sliding, not hard. 25 kills while on smoke, I see that being a little bit more difficult, but that's just hardcore on whatever map and just throw smoke at your feet. Using three attachments, get five headshot kills while sliding, that might be a little bit difficult. But then again, it's only five headshots, it's not too, like, it's not too grindy. And then you get yourself the obsidian emblem for the SMG. And just a disclaimer, I'm going through it on one, um, one gun, but you have to do it separately for each gun. I don't know if I have to say that or not, but... Just thought I might put that out there. Now we got shotguns, which not gunsmith. Another 2,500 kills for these. Another 1,000 headshots. Then we got to go 50 aiming down sights with no stock attachment. So similar to ARs, you're just going to get 50 kills with that. 75 kills with sliding, not too difficult. Scout combat optic, very easy right there. You just put on a larger barrel and then you got that. Um... Using four attachments, get 10 headshot kills while in smoke. That's going to be very situational. So that will be a shipment challenge. <laughs> then we go to the LMGs. Uh, another 2,500 kills, 1,000 headshots, similar. 50 uh, aiming down sight kills with no stock, easy. Sl 25 sliding kills, not too bad. 25 hip fire kills, not too bad. And then three attachments, get 25 head or, yeah, headshot kills while crouching. That's very specific i don't know why they're all that specific but now they're 2500 1000 five long shot kills while using scout combat optic very similar to the snipers here uh 75 quick scope kills 10 hip fire kills not that's not going to be bad at all um then we got using well at least for the ebr it's not going to be awful other ones yeah it might be a little bit more difficult but it's only 10 hip fire kills nothing uh nothing too crazy uh two attachments 25 mounts and long shot kills. I think this is almost exactly the same on snipers, right? 2,500, 1,000, five long shots, combat, six or 75 quick scopes, 10 hip fires, 
And yeah, so it's literally just the same for the both the um, snipers and marksman rifles. Then we got the melee weapons, which this gets very interesting. So you need 1,750 kills with the right shield for that one. You need to get two kills without dying 200 times. So that's 400 kills if you're uh, if you're consistently getting those two kill streaks. 50 kills while behind the enemy. 25 buzz kills. 75 kills while in smoke. Again, that's a shipment challenge. Three kills without dying and while using the tracker perk 10 times. Shouldn't be too awful. That's again, shipment, shipment, shipment. All over, especially for the melee weapons. Speaking of which, we're going to go to the sidearms. Pistols, 2,500, 1,000. Didn't expect anything different there. 50 kills while using the Kimbo weapon perk and a reflex optic. Hold up, that's a, that don't make no sense. Hold up. So they want you to use a Kimbo with a reflex. But the reflexes are completely useless. I mean, sure, go off. I mean, <laughs> 30 kills while sliding, not too hard. 75 kills while on smoke. Shipment. <laughs> um, using three attachments to get 75 point blank headshot kills. Now, the launchers is what scares me. These are going to be the most difficult, most grindy ones. You'll see here why in just a second. So, you have to get 200 uh, destroys, vehicles, and kill streaks. And then you have to get another 800. So, that's the thousand total. It took me around like, I think, four hours to get just 100 uh, destroys with the Joker for Obsidian Camel, which I actually already have now. So, that's. Uh, then you have to get double kills. Uh, this You literally can only do it on shipment. I'm going to tell you right that right now. Literally only shipment. Because you have to get literally 400 double kills. I don't know why Joe, Joe Seacott hates me. I don't know why they hate anybody going for these challenges. But yeah. Then he has to destroy 20 aerial vehicles. Which I'm going to assume just normal aerial kill streaks. Such as chopper gunners and VTOLs will count. I hope. Fuck I don't think that's going to count. Oh shit. Well we're out of luck. <laughs> and then 10 buzz kills and enemy streaks. Uh, 20 long shot kills, which that I'm probably just going to go on to Zokov Boneyard and aim at Sea Flag. Then we're going to go double kills while using the track, or, yeah, tracker perk, again, shipment. And that is for all the uh, RPGs and stuff. And then we go to the knife, the combat knife. 2,500 kills, get a double kill 300 times. Plus 100, so that's 400 times. Not going to be too difficult if you're on shipment. Uh, 50 kills while behind the enemy. Possibly not too hard, especially on shipment. So uh, 25 kills while sliding, not too hard. So, uh, 75 kills while on smoke, again, shipment. And then 10 double kills while using the tracker perk. Shipment. That's the rundown on all the uh, calling card challenges and shit. But yeah, literally, if you're going for any of the uh, calling card challenges and stuff for individual weapons i wish you the best of luck uh they're going to take a long time a very long time um i'm still currently working on getting obsidian on a lot of the weapons currently working on the hdr but the hdr literally sucks but yeah now that i have something else to grind along with it shouldn't be too bad um but yeah i guess that's all for the video if you guys did enjoy please leave a like comment subscribe turn on bell notifications if you care enough and uh yeah it's been King Chef, guys. See you later.